Good morning, friends, followers, YouTubers, YouTube creators, subscribers, and Trevorites, but mainly good morning to you, the subscribers, because without you, there wouldn't be a channel. And if you're watching this video right now, and you've not yet subscribed, why not? It's free! Well, people, do you know what? I'm going to give my 10 pence worth, because I am seeing a lot of YouTubers and the mainstream media um, going at, if it's not Russell Brand, it's Lawrence Fox, or it's Dan Wooden, or it's Jim Davidson. Have you noticed though, have you noticed that it's strong voices, strong male, heterosexual voices that are being stampeded on? Yes, I know these individuals are outspoken. I know they have their own opinions. They're strong, moral individuals. But it's a trait, isn't it? Yes, I know, I find myself nearly being cancelled quite a few times, but you know what? Here's the thing, when individuals are strong and outspoken, you will not silence them. They will find a way to keep moving forward. Now, Lawrence Fox, I'm a little bit disappointed in GB News, and I, and I am, and I'll tell you why. GB News hired Lawrence Fox knowing he was outspoken. They like him, they love him. He brings in views, he brings in clicks, he brings in viewers. Yes, he brings attention to GB News. Yes, he went on BBC uh, Question Time a long time ago and he was outspoken and he stood up for strong men. And you know what? GB News went, mm, maybe we can get him on here. He'll help. He'll help our ratings. And you know what, GB News? He has helped your ratings and so has Dan Wooten. So to stand there now and to go, mm, we don't know. What you should be doing is standing in these guys' corners and going, listen, if he said something inappropriate, yes, we will dock his wages. We will slap his wrists. But what you shouldn't do is destroy people's careers over it. Now, the weird thing is, when these men speak out, it's always against either an ideo ideology or it's against feminist women, which I find quite strange because the women that they speak out against and they slap down are the ones that are giving it all that there and they're allowed to, isn't it? Yes, this so-called equality, this so-called diverse and equality society we have isn't so diverse and equal, is it? Because these so-called feminists can say whatever they want and nothing's said. But when the men speak out, oh, let's cancel the men, eh? How many women have you seen cancelled over the last couple of years? Well, let's be honest, they, they tried to do it with Katie Hopkins, didn't they? So maybe just the one. But she spoke out for the right reasons as well. So do you know what, Lawrence? Yes, you may have said something a little bit inappropriate, but I got the sort of idea what you were trying to do. And to be fair, she is an attractive looking woman, so I wouldn't have said that. But it's quite strange that everyone now wants you to lose your job over it. Yeah. Um, no, no. Do you know what? People should be standing in your corner. People should be standing up for what Lawrence Fox stands for. Lawrence Fox may say things that we don't agree with, but you don't have to listen, do you? You don't have to listen. You can just turn off and watch the BBC and listen to their propaganda. Hmm. It's quite sad. And Dan Wooten, uh, yes, I think Dan Wooten during that interview, um, his laugh wasn't a laugh to agree. It looked like a nervous laugh. So for him to lose his job as well is an utter disgrace. GB News, get your finger out your ass and sort yourselves out. Or you know what? You're going to start getting people refusing to go on your program. Thanks for watching, everyone. And thanks for supporting my channel.